Music is one of the greatest parts of my life. Not a single day goes by when I'm not on the hunt for some new sounds, or reminiscing on the familiar ones. It's almost like a gateway to me, a gateway that allows me to travel to worlds unknown, and to turn the clock back to the past that always seems to be just out of reach. Needless to say, music is very important to me, and while I'm mainly talking about my personal music, the same applies to video game music too. Words can't describe the feelings I get when Brawl's opening theme erupts from my speakers, or the way walking through the Sinnoh region leaves me speechless. Pretty much everything about this medium astounds me, and I thought to myself, man, it's about time I talk about this stuff. Now, this won't be the usual type of video I try to make. Instead, it's going to be a laid-back, fan-to-fan type thing, where I just talk to you guys about what makes the sound of this game so damn cool. And what better place to start than with one of the very first tracks you'll hear in the game, the Onet theme. This song is one of my favorites for a few reasons, actually. For starters, the rendition of this track from the Smash Bros games has been one of my personal favorites ever since I heard it from Brawl way back when I was young. This song has been in my life way before my first real experience with Earthbound, and it served as a great anchor point to the series for me. The memories I had with this music really worked wonders by making me feel at home with a game that I've never even played before. Now that in of itself is pretty freaking awesome, and I really have to give it up to Sakurai and his team for recreating such a fantastic piece of music. Nostalgia aside, however, the placement of this song and the overall sound of it was a brilliant move as well. The Onet theme captures the essence of childhood innocence and the drive to explore the world and all of its mysteries that lie beyond the horizon. Everything is new and exciting, from the trees to the sky and the crows that'll drop a cookie for you, only if you're lucky enough. Time seems to stop as you absorb everything in the beautiful world that surrounds you. It's a great moment, and this song exemplifies that feeling. The upbeat, happy sounds, and the carefree vibes this song provides really makes you eager to not only begin your journey, but to take yourself to new heights, and to just have fun. It's a fantastic way to kickstart an amazing game. But we're just scratching the surface here, folks. I'd like to take that feeling of adventure up a notch, and really explore this angle of what Earthbound's music can give you. So let's take a minute or two to talk about the Skyrunner theme. Another one of my personal favorite songs in the game, the Skyrunner theme really builds upon the sense of adventure and discovery that the Onet theme brought to the table. With the Onet theme, the feelings were fresh and new, and it signified the beginning of something big. But, like most things in life, the more often we do them, the less of an impact they make on us. The same can be said for Onet in a sense. Sure, it's a pleasure to listen to again and again, but it never really hits you as hard as it did the first time it graced your ears. To someone like me, who finds himself living in the past more often than not, I really wanted to get that feeling I had walking through Onet again. And in my honest opinion, the Skyrunner theme delivers on that feeling to the fullest extent. You really feel a sense of scale in this song. It feels like a breath of fresh air as you take to the skies and watch as you soar past the world below. Like the Onet theme, this song really creates the sense of adventure. But unlike the Onet theme, this song feels much bigger. This isn't just a stroll through town like it used to be. This is something much more grand and mature, almost otherworldly in a sense. You've grown quite a bit since your days first began, but you know that there's always something out there to experience, and that those feelings you love to remember can be felt again. That's what I feel when I listen to this song. And on the topic of that, let's shift over here. Check this out. I'm gonna play you a little snippet of this next song I'm gonna discuss and I want you to really listen to it for me. Sound good? Okay, here we go. So, what did you feel from that? Take some time to think about it while I explain what it brought out of me. Whenever I hear the Tucson theme, I picture this. A boy is taking a stroll through the streets of town, and he's letting everything in. The breeze against his face, the soothing sound of water in the distance, and the ambience of the streets that bring it all to life. He's just having a wonderful time, enjoying himself and living life the way he wants to. That's what I hear when I listen to this song. So now, I'll ask you again. What did you feel? Was it what I thought? Or was it something else? Let's have a look at another name for this track, 
Boy Meets Girl. To me, this title implies that the song is supposed to create a sense of love and romance, but I really didn't get that from this track. So does that mean that what I felt about this song is wrong? I mean, when it comes to the feeling of love, I get that more from Paula's theme. Here, I see that very same boy down on his luck. Things aren't making sense to him, and his life is spiraling out of control. But then, out of the corner of his eye, he sees a girl from across the street, and immediately, his everything changes. He's no longer focused on what's been bothering him, but rather, what could make his life better? A future with this girl, a happier place in life, and much, much more. But again, the title of this new song, Paula's Theme, doesn't imply that feeling of love at all. So again, I ask you, is what I felt about this song wrong too? The answer to both of these questions is no, not at all. Earthbound has a phenomenal ability to create music that leaves you wondering. Depending on the way you listen, you can hear something completely different than what was intended. You can put your own thoughts and emotions onto the song and create your own stories about them. And the best part about this is, there is no definite meaning to the music. Do you think this song is about happiness? Then it is. Do you think this song is about love? Then it is. It is such an incredible quality of Earthbound's music, and each and every single song you listen to is like a canvas for you to make the music and its meaning your own. And that's really one of my favorite parts of listening to music in general, taking in all the power the sound creates and shaping it into something more. So how about we wrap things up with a fan favorite, Smiles and Tears. Now in this case, my story to this song is very in line with the title of the track. This is it. You've made it through thick and thin, highs and lows, and have successfully saved the world and the ones you love from destruction at the hands of Gygus. It feels great. No more stress, no more worries. It's almost as if, for the first time, you can actually smile again. But soon after, the painful realization hits you. This is the end of the line. The time for you to say goodbye to your friends, the ones you've depended on to keep each other safe, and the people you've gotten to know and connect with throughout your entire journey. You know, it's always hard to say goodbye to yesterday. Reminiscing on what was, remembering all the good times, all the laughs. We like to romanticize it all and want to hold on to it forever. But all good things need to come to an end at some point. And that's really what the song is all about to me. Realizing that the journey may be over, but being able to find comfort in the memories that it gave you. Don't cry because it's over, smile because it happened. That sort of thing. Now, this would be the perfect way to end the video, but there's still one more song I'd like to talk about. Look, I've been playing Earthbound for quite a while now, and have taken time to really delve deep into this game's music. Like I've said many times already, I can listen to a song and formulate my own personal meaning onto it. Just about every single song that lives within this cartridge is one I've already solved. Except this one. There's something different about this song and I don't know what it is. Ever since I heard it for the first time, it's managed to weave its way into my mind, and I've been constantly trying to figure out why. Why does this song captivate me so much? What is it about this piece of music that brings out so much in me? Is it the sound? I mean, this has to be one of the most relaxing tracks I've ever heard in a video game, and it manages to not only feel alien, but human too. Is it the ambience? The sounds create this weird blend of mystery and peace. Like you don't know what's out there, but you're okay with it. Then part of me thinks that it may have something to do with the purity of the song. This theme only plays at the eight year sanctuary locations, which are devoid of enemies and pretty much all things evil. It's like being in a place where you know that you're safe. A place where you can be enveloped in love and all its little wonders. A place you can call home. These are just some of the many different angles I've looked at this song with. And even after all this time, I still don't have an answer. But as I'm writing this, I've come to realize that I'm okay with not knowing. Because sometimes there are things you just can't explain. 
Sometimes there isn't a group of words that can convey the way you feel about something. You just know it's there, and you're content having that special thing, whatever it may be, that nobody else can have the same way you can. But hey, I'm just rambling at this point. Take it easy, everybody, and as always, keep on keeping on.